Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to tonight's episode of Poetry Live. Tonight, I'm not reading this, I'm just putting this away, but tonight I am going to be reading some Spike Milligan poetry live on air for you because Queen has requested it and because Queen has requested it, I will do it because that's, that's what I like. I like it when you guys pick the poems for me. Um, so always happy for that. We're looking forward to doing this. Queen, though, it seems, has been, might be a bit busy tonight. So Queen, you'll have to catch this on Catch Up, in which case, welcome. Thank you for suggesting, and I hope you're enjoying the Catch Up. Excellent, excellent. Oh, Queen's here, she's here. Good, Taz, I'm glad you were excited for it. Queen, I thought you were busy tonight and that you couldn't get on. Welcome. I hope you're looking forward to me reading this. Uh, as, I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I'm looking forward um, to telling it. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. High five. I hope that was a high five. I hope that's what it was. Welcome, guys. Come in, come in, come in. Hello, Blanks. Come in, come in, Blanks. Come in. Take up a seat. Sit yourself down. Hello, AJ. I haven't seen you in a while. Hello, Rosella. Come in, come in. Hello, Taz and Black Rabbit. It is wonderful. Hello, Karen. Wonderful, wonderful to see you all. I hope that everything is well with you. I am in an especially good mood tonight, ladies and gents. I will show you why I'm in an especially good mood tonight. Last week, we read out Dr. Bronner's um, soap poetry, soap thing, and turned Dr. Bronner's soap into a poem on Wednesday. And at the end, I thought it was such a good show, I asked you all if you would be kind enough to go and tweet at Catch and ask them if they could make it into a Catch pick, um, because it would mean a lot to me if I got on there. And last week, you know, when the Catch picks came out, I wasn't on there, and you know, I, I, I was a bit disappointed that I wasn't on there, but I was mega grateful and mega thankful that you guys were willing to go out and do that anyway. But, but ladies and gents, guess what? In my inbox. Guess what just came in my inbox? Catch picks. This week's catch picks. And here we go. Here we go. Simon is reading Dr. Bonner's magic. Not well. Thank you for the congratulations. I take this as a mega, mega thank you. A mega thank you. A humongous, mega, massive head. Banging hair waving, thank you for being the greatest audience ever. You guys are brilliant. Super, super, massive, mega, incredible thanks to everyone who voted and pushed that on there. You guys are incredible. Uh, and I love you guys. I love you guys because if it wasn't for you guys pushing this and... Exit! It was so exciting. Well, I hope I, I hope you're as excited as I was, Sarah. I did. I just switched it on as well and saw it that I had no idea. Um, so it's lovely. So thank you, thank you, and welcome, Sarah. Welcome, and hello to everybody um, who's watching online right now. You know, if you're enjoying the show, if you enjoy tonight's poetry, please do download Periscope and follow me at Simon Tells Tales for more awesome poems. Um, this is a poetry show though, so I'm going to get into some poetry for tonight, but um, as a special thank you, um, because we haven't done it in a while, we haven't done an Ask Me Anything in about 150 episodes. So to say a big thank you to you guys for doing that, and because I'm conscious that I haven't been interacting nearly enough, um, this I am counting, I am counting. I like I like the fact that we've been going for so long. I to say a massive thank you to you guys for all of your kindness and all of your support. Uh, and because I feel like I've been neglecting you a little bit recently, I am going to be doing a Q&A, ask me anything after Poetry Live tonight. So uh, hopefully, hopefully that will give us a bit more time tonight to chat. Um, and I'll get around to doing some more personal thank yous over the course of 
uh, the weekend and the week that follows. So thank you to you guys. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to Queen for suggesting tonight's poetry. Thank you for everyone who's come tonight. Thank you, Black Rabbit and Taz. Thank you, Queen and Rosella and Blanks. Thank you, AJ. Thank you, Karen and Frank. Danny and Sarah, who has got an awesome photo. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Hello, Fuman. Let's get into doing some Spike Milligan poetry tonight. Here we go. I'm going to open with, here we go, let's go and get some in there. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I have to open in a new tab. I want to open here. A la da 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 da. A la da 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 da. This is On the Ning Nang Nong by Spike Milligan, ladies and gentlemen. On the Ning Nang Bong, where the cows go bong and the monkeys all say boo, there's a Nong Nang Ning where the trees go ping and the teapots jibber jabber too. On the Nong Ning Nang all the mice go clang, and it, you just can't catch them when they do. So it's Ning Nong Nong, cows go bong, Nong Nang Ning, trings go ping, Nong Ning Nang, the mice go clang, what a noisy place to belong, is the Ning Nang Ning Nang Gong. That's a bloody hard poem to say. I did not, I did not manage to get that without messing up. <laughs> but hey ho, hey ho, that's what happens sometimes. We just have to go there. The next poem, the next poem that I'm going to read to you tonight is Have a Nice Day. No, it's not Chinese, Frank. It's Spike Milligan being silly. The next poem is Help, Help, Said a Man, I'm Drowning. Help, help, said a man, I'm drowning. Hang on, said a man from the shore. Help, help, said the man, I'm not clowning. Yes, I know, I heard you before. Be patient, dear man, who is drowning. You see, I've got a disease. I'm waiting for a Dr. J. Browning. So do be patient, please. How long, said the man who is drowning, will it take for the doctor to arrive? Not very long, said the man with the disease, till then, try staying alive. Very well, said the man who is drowning, I'll try and stay afloat, by reciting the poems of Browning and the other things he wrote. Help, help, said the man with the disease, I suddenly feel quite ill. Keep calm, said the man with the drowning, breathe deeply and lie quite still. Oh dear, said the man with the awful disease, I think I'm going to die. Farewell, said the man who was drowning, said the man with the disease, goodbye. So the man who was drowning drowned, and the man with the disease passed away. But apart from that, and the fire in my flat, it's been a very nice day. Was it? I didn't realise um, that was read at uh, Lemmy's funeral. Um, I'm not sure. I, well, I didn't know what was read at Lemmy's funeral, but I did not know that. I did not know that at all. Uh -huh. Still, it's a nice, nice series of poems to read, I think. The next poem I'm going to read for you all tonight. Oh, what, what, should, I, what should I go for next? What should I go for next, ladies and gents? Um, well, more you shall hear, Queen, more you shall hear. This next poem is Granny. Through every nook and every cranny, the wind blew in on poor old Granny, around her ne knees, into each ear, and up nose as well, I fear. All through the night the wind grew worse, it nearly made the vicar curse. The top had fallen off the steeple, just missing him and other people. 
It blew on man, it blew on beast, it blew on nun, it blew on priest, it blew the wig off Aunt Fanny, but most of all, it blew on Granny. There. And that was Granny suffering from the evil wind. Poor Granny indeed, Sarah. So, uh, I do. I, I think it's. I think it's fair to feel sorry for her in that instant, isn't it? The next poem, though, that I'm going to read you all tonight. The next poem is the ABC poem. Twas midnight in the schoolroom. And every desk was shut, when suddenly from the alphabet was heard a loud tut-tut. Said A to B, I don't like C, his manners are a lack. For all I ever see of C is a semicircular back. I disagree, said D to B, I've never found C so. From where I stand he seems to be an uncompleted O. C was vexed, I'm much perplexed, you criticise my shape. I made like that to help spell cat and cow and cool and cape. He is right, said E and F. Whoopee, said G. Ip, ip, away. You're dropping me, roared H to G. Don't do it, please, I pray. Out of my way, LL said to K. I'll make poor I look ill. To stop this stunt, J stood in front, and presto, L was Jill. You know, said V, that double U is twice the age of me. For as a Roman, V is fine, I'm half as young as he. X and Y yawn sleepily. <gasps> time, they said. Let's all get off to Betty Bynes. They did. Then Zed said Zed. There, that, ladies and gents, was the ABC poem by Spike Milligan. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was fun. And yes, Spike Milligan's poems are silly and funny. And so they should be as well. I mean, we went through... We, we, sometimes we get quite heavy and serious on her. It's nice to break it out and just say silly words. And speaking of silly words, can we all say, can we all join in a silly word? I want you all to say, I want you all to say this. I want you all to say, Bazonka. 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 Because this, ladies and gents, is Bazonka. Say bazonka every day, that's what my grandma used to say. It keeps at bay the Asian flu and both your elbows free from glue. So say bazonka every day, that's what my grandma used to say. Don't say it if your socks are dry or when the sun is in your eye. And never say it in the dark, the word you see emits a spark. Only say it in the day, that's what my grandma used to say. Young Tiny Tim took her advice, he said it once, he said it twice, he said it till the day he died, and even after that he tried to say bazonka every day, just like my grandma used to say. Now folks around the club, it's true, that every night at half past two, if you'll stand upon your head and shout bazonka from your bed, you'll hear the word as clear as day, just like my grandma used to say. So I hope you all enjoyed saying bazonka there, ladies and gents. Bazonka, 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 bazonk. Because we all like a bit of silly, don't we? We all like a little bit of silly every now and then. This next poem, this next one that I'm going to read is Jumbo Jet. I saw a little elephant standing in my garden. I said, you don't belong in here, he said. 
I'll beg your pardon. I said, this place is England. What are you doing here? He said, ah, then I must be lost. Oh dear. Oh dear. I should be back in Africa. On Serengeti's plane. Pray, where is the nearest station where I can catch a train? He caught the bus to Finchley and then to Mincing Lane and over the embankment where he got lost again. The police put him in a cell, but it was far too small. So they tied him to a lamppost and he slept against the wall. But as the policeman lay sleeping by the twinkling light of dawn, the lamppost and the wall were there. But the elephant was gone. So if you see an elephant in a jumbo jet, you can be sure that Africa's the place he's trying to get. Tell you what, I have a hard enough time going on planes trying to get my suitcase to be light enough to go through the baggage allowance. God knows how an elephant's going to get on there. But nice to know that elephants are trying. Yeah, That's the important thing. The important thing is trying. As long as you're doing that, it's all wonderful. Anyway, just going to read a few more poems for you. Um, before we end the poetry tonight, three last poems, short poems, to end up the night, ladies and gents. The first poem is Contagion. Oh, there we go, Danny. The elephant pays extra as he travels with a trunk. I like that. I like that. I'm going to steal that and use it and claim it's my own joke at another time. Elephants are contagious. Be careful how you tread. An elephant that's been trodden on should be confined to bed. Leopards are contagious too. Be careful, tiny tots. They don't give you a temperature, but lots and lots of spots. The herring is a lucky fish, for all disease inured. Should be, he should he be ill when caught at sea. Immediately, he's cured. See a bit of punning there? As soon as a herring is caught, he's cured. Because you're curing fish, get it? Curing fish, fish is caught, he's ill, he's caught, he's cured. No, no. <laughs> I, I, I thought I thought that was a good line. I enjoyed that line. I'm, I have a simple sense of humour, though. I'm a special, special soul at the best of time. There we go. That's the laughing coming through. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. It's it's punning time tonight. Anyway, two poems left tonight. Both quick. Um, I that's not the poem I was going to read. I was going to read. What was I going to go read? Here we go. This, ladies and gents, is porridge. Why is there no monument to porridge in our land? If it's good enough to eat, it's good enough to stand. On a plinth in London, a statue we should see of porridge made in Scotland. Signed, Oatmeal, O-B-E, by a young dog of three. And there, ladies and gents, that is an ode to that wonderful thing, porridge. I can't stand porridge, by the way. Um, it's like eating cardboard. I have to put so much sugar and fruit and treacle and stuff in it that by the time I actually eat it, it doesn't resemble porridge anymore. Um, 
which is as porridge should be, if you ask me. That's that's what po porridge works. That's how we sort it. Anyway, I am going to do, there we go, one last poem for you tonight by Spike. This is very, very short to round off the night. It's a very profound poem. And for those of you who come to this show regularly, you might have noticed that I have a real love of poems about the sea. Um, I grew up near the sea. I love the sea. It's a beautiful subject to write about, to read about, to take photography of, to experience. And when I lived in London, I dearly, dearly missed not being able to see the sea. So I hate cities. There's no greenery there, there's no sea there, there's no mountains there, there's no trees there, and I just don't get on with cities at all, ever. So I miss the sea. And this is a poem about the sea. Don't even go poking me there, Danny. That's not funny. Anyway, this, ladies and gents, is I Must Go to the Sea Again by Spike Milligan, tapping in to that most profound of earthly subjects. I must go down to the sea again, to the lonely sea and the sky. I left my shoes and socks there. I wonder if they're dry. And that, ladies and gents, is Spike Milligan's profound poem about the sea. I'll give you it one more time to round off the night. I must go down to the sea again, to the lonely sea and sky. I left my shoes and socks there. I wonder if they're dry. And there, ladies and gents, an end to tonight's Spike Milligan poems. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you again to all those of you who voted for me on Catch. Making Catch has been a really awesome start to the weekend and a wonderful end to the week. Um, you, got, you guys are perfect. Thank you, Queen, for suggesting Spike Milligan. Don't forget, guys, if any of the rest of you have poets that you would like me to read out on the show, do tweet me or Instagram me or write me a letter or accost me when I'm walking across a field. Find some way of getting the message over to me and let me know what I should be reading on the show because I love to read requests. Requests make me very, very happy. Um... Well, you know, it's not too far away, Rosella. It's not, the sea isn't too far. I mean, when I went to Rome, I, I didn't go to see the sea. But certainly coming into uh, Fumico Airport, you, you've, you've got the sea by Fumico, haven't you? So it's not, you're not that far away from the sea. You could get there easily if you wanted to uh, by Fumico, I, I think. Gorgeous flying in there. Gorgeous. I need to go back. I need to come back to a wonderful, wonderful country with Salah. Um, I loved it. Loved it immensely. Um, so I will come there. I'm not sure of Trieste. I haven't been to Trieste. But I hope it has a sea. It looked, it, it looked, I, I was, when I was there, I wasn't in Rome for long enough to go down to the seaside. But it looked beautiful and blue um, and gorgeous. Anyway... Thank you for coming to tonight's show, ladies and gents. Thank you, Blank Rabbit and Taz. Thank you, Queen and Rosella and Blanks and Alexa. Thank you, Karen and Frank and Danny and Sarah. Thank you, Amanda and Goonie. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed Spike Milligan and that he put you in a wonderful mood for the weekend. I am now, ladies and gents, going to end tonight's scope here, but... Because I'm aware that I haven't been spending enough time online with you guys recently, because I'm, I'm conscious that it's been a long, long time since we did an Ask Me Anything on Periscope, um, I'm going to open up again now. Um, you don't have to come, but if you do want to come in and have a chat, I'll load up an AMA um, to say thank you to you guys for the catch. Um, oh, wonderful. I'll see if I can find it, Rosella. I'll see if I can find it. Um, I'm... 
Frank, I Frank. Is Frank still here? Is Frank still here? Frank is still here. Frank, I did watch your Simon and Garfunkel boxer scope. I did. You play the guitar beautifully, my friend. That was a wonderful, wonderful instrumental rendition of the boxer. I enjoyed it immensely. Thank you for letting me know about it. Um, I had it on in the background um, when I was doing some work and it, it really cheered me up. So thank you very much. I did. I loved it, Frank. I loved it. Thank you so much for pointing me in its direction. Anyway, I'm going to come and close this scope down now. Load up and ask me anything um, to say thank you. I gave you loads of hearts. What? No, no, Frank. Frank, I gave you loads of hearts. Frank, I, I gave you... G genuinely, check, check it, Frank. I, I was hitting the heart button, Frank. There were definitely... Yeah, I gave, I gave, I gave heart. I'm annoyed with Periscope now. Happy with Catch. Loving Catch. But I will check it out, Marcella. I will check it out. But I gave serious heartage on that, Frank. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. There was a serious heartage going on there. Um, serious. Anyway, I will check out. So that that's that that's you know the the adjective whatever heartage yeah it's heartage going on there anyway i i will go and check out Priscilla's singing and anyway i'm going to go and load up an ama now um <laughs> i love everything i do i love periscope but periscope is wonderful without periscope we couldn't be here having a laugh right now but i'm going to put this down open up catch, uh, not open catch, open periscope back up and we'll go and do an AMA um, so I can interact a bit and say thank you to you guys for the catch pick. Thank you. I'll see you in a few minutes if you come to see the AMA. Please do Frank, please do.